In the following tutorial, you will learn how to make your decals render and show up in static, indirectly lit areas or areas that are in shadow. By default, Unreal Engine 4 only renders your decals in direct lighting. And if we come over here inside this hallway, we have decals on the wall and these indirect lit areas do not render decals. This is done by default and it's due to a new rendering decal system that's being implemented inside Unreal Engine 4. This decal rendering system is a lot faster and it is cheaper to render decals. But the downside is that your decals will not render in static indirect lighting. So the only way decals work right now is if decals are being directly affected by a stationary or movable light. So I'm going to drag one decal that I have off to the side on the floor and let's drag it right onto the floor here. And you can see that it's working fine when the directional light directly affecting that decal. But these areas in shadow, the decal does not show up. So in order for you to make your decals work in static indirect lighting, you have to enable debuffer decals. By doing so, there is a slight performance cost, but your decals will work in any lighting situation. So it is a trade-off. And before I show you how to enable debuffer decals, let me give you a workaround of what you can do right now. And that is you have to make sure that your decals are being directly affected by a movable or a stationary light. So really quickly, I'm going to go on the lights and drag a regular point light right into the scene going to decrease the radius very low so all we have is these decals are being affected just by this light I'm going to duplicate this light twice I'm going to take this first light and change it to static this is going to be baked in the lighting and this decal will not render after we bake our lighting second light is going to be left at stationary and it will work it will render our decal. And the third light, we're going to change it to movable, which is completely dynamic light, and it will also work with our decals. So let's go ahead and build our lighting. And here we have our decals render in stationary lights, movable lights, but not with static lights. So this is the only workaround if you don't want to enable debuffer decals, is that you have to make sure that your decals are being directly affected by stationary or dynamic lighting. Now let's go ahead and enable debuffer decals, which will make decals render in any lighting situation. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these lights. I'm gonna select them all, delete, and rebuild that scene. Let's go to project settings, under edit, project settings, and under rendering. In here, under lighting, we want to enable debuffer decals. Left click and check it. Now scroll down and under optimizations, there are two additional options you need to update. Early Z pass, you want to change this to opaque and masked meshes. And you want to enable movable in early Z pass. And with these three options changed, close the project settings and you need to restart your project. So close the editor and relaunch your project. After relaunching the project, the shaders may need to be rebuilt and this would happen automatically. Our last step is to update and change decal blend mode of all decal materials that are in indirectly lit areas. And to do this, go inside the content browser and navigate into the folder where you store your decals. Double click on the decal material to open material editor and in the details panel under decal blend mode change decal blend mode from translucent to debuffer translucent and use the input values that are being used by the decal material. So in our case all we're using is base color so change decal blend mode to debuffer translucent color. Click apply and save. Let's close this. And now that decal is being rendered in indirectly lit areas. Now let's select our decal sewer. This decal contains base color, roughness, and normal map. So for this decal blend mode, we want to choose 
debuff with translucent, color, normal, and roughness. Click apply and save. And our last decal in this scene is our dirt. Double click to open the material editor. All we have is base color. So let's go ahead and change our decal blend mode to debuff with translucent color. Apply and save. And now all of your decals that you changed to debuffer will appear and render in scene in static indirect lit areas. And at the same time, all the decals that you did not change decal blend mode will also continue working. So now you are using gbuffer or default rendering system for decals and you are also using debuffer decals and only change decal blend mode to debuffer for decals that are being used in static indirect lit areas and leave the rest of the decals to decal blend mode set to translucent. Also note that debuffer decals will work in any lighting situation, in static indirect lighting and in direct lighting, as you can see here for the dirt and the sewer decal. One last thing, if changing your project settings and updating debuffer decals, if this option happens to crash your editor, here's how to revert back. So let's go ahead and close this project settings and navigate into the folder of your project. Right click, let's go to show in folder, go inside the config folder, open default engine, and you want to change our debuffer to false. Then go to file, save, and relaunch your project. This way you will revert back to debuffer decals being disabled. I personally have not experienced the editor crashing by changing to debuffer decals, but it may happen in your case. So this is how you would revert back in order to relaunch your project.